Q&A Tuesday. I got my list is right here of questions from you guys. Thanks so much for getting them to me. So let's get right to it. I got Anthony Parisi on Facebook asks me, I have a typically, I've typically used Ocean Grove fertilizer for my roses and hydrangeas. I was thinking of using 10, 10, 10 or 15, 15, 15. What are your thoughts on this? Well, Anthony, I really like to recommend Plant Zone. It's a good organic based fertilizer, similar to your Ocean Grove fertilizer. And it's really good for a wide range of plants. Um, the 10, 10, 10, the 15, 15, 15 are okay fertilizers, but they're not on the organic side of things. They're inorganic. So I would stick with the Plant Zone. It's a great all-purpose uh, organic fertilizer. Peg on Facebook asks me, Stephen, I have two hydrangeas in my backyard. They were there when I, we purchased the house. They never flower. What can I do to get them to flower? I also know they get too much sun, and I try to keep them refreshed, but their sun burns their leaves. The sun burns their leaves. Are they easy to transplant? Well, there's a couple of things we got going on here, Peg. First and foremost, they're probably not flowering because when they're pruned, or because they are, they're not in the right condition. So you want to make sure you prune your hydrangeas after they flower, right? After they flower, that's when they want to be pruned because if you prune them too late, you prune the flower buds off from last year. Now is a really good time to transplant your hydrangeas. The nights are still cool, the plant hasn't completely leafed out, and it, the soil temperatures are nice and cool too. So you want to dig that plant up, and then you can transplant it now to a part sun location. You know, six or less hours of sun a day is a great spot for that. I have Paul on Facebook asks me, Steve, we live in Point Pleasant Beach and are putting a pool in this season. We have five feet around the perimeter on two sides. What would you suggest is a good tall tree or shrub that would be that would tolerate this space best? We need height to block neighbors. So, Paula, if you live in a Point Pleasant Beach, you probably have a smaller property. You know, I wouldn't. I would not suggest Leland Cypress. What I like up by the beach there are Hollywood junipers or hooks junipers. They grow around mm, 12 inches a year. They're really great for that environment, and they do a great job hedging, hedging uh, your neighbors out. Ann here asked me on Facebook, when can we set our pots of herbs outside? Well, Ann, we've had super cold temperatures. I wouldn't put my herbs outside, especially my basil or my tender herbs. I'd want to put them out right around after May 15th. You could try putting them out now, but if we have nights below 50 degrees, you want to make sure you cover them or bring those pots inside. So I usually like to say right around May 15th when the night temperatures are above 60 degrees. Finally, I have June on Facebook again. What is the best annuals to attract hummingbirds to my garden? Well, if you think about the hummingbird, June, hummingbirds like a, an annual with a deep throat, so something they could stick their, their nose into to get that nectar out. So what I like to recommend are things like fuchsias, angelonia, snapdragons. I've even seen hummingbirds on lantana, and morning glories do really well. Things that have that throat of a flower, mandevillas, those are all the ones that attract the hummingbirds that they suck that nectar out. Thanks so much for these questions. Keep them coming, and I'll keep the answers coming to you. Thanks. Have a great day.